Hey everyone, Assalamu alaikum. It's me Zubia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the difference between plaque versus tartar. Plaque is a sticky curlless film that constantly form on your yeah. teeth. Even if you brush, it's just gonna start forming right after. But if you're brushing regularly and flossing, this is the only way that we can remove plaque. So we can remove plaque by regular brushing and flossing. And I given my link here for the brushing if you need to know how to brush your teeth properly. We all are humans. I know sometimes we are rushing to work, sometimes we are lazy and we don't brush our teeth properly, even though if we know how to brush our teeth. And that's why we couldn't remove the plaque out all the surfaces of our teeth. Everyone develops plaque. We cannot clean our teeth 100%. No. So if we cannot remove the plaque and it stay on our teeth more than 24 hours, it's gonna cause gum irritation and inflammation, which is swelling gums and which is leading into a uh, gingivitis which is bleeding gums and tartar or a calculus which start gonna harden on our teeth that we cannot remove by brushing. So if we couldn't remove the plaque within 24 hours it could harden and create a tartar. The fancy word is calculus. Now I'm gonna talk about calculus which is a mineralized plaque. It's hard like a rock. We cannot remove with a toothbrush or a floss. The only way we can remove the calculus is by dental cleaning. Either we can buy our dentist or a hygienist. That's why we always recommend to our client to get a cleaning done twice in a year, at least every six months. How plaque change into a tartar? When plaque didn't remove for 24 hours, mineral in our saliva attach with those plaque and change into tartar, which lead to and the gum disease. can put you at a greater risk of uh, oral diseases, switch gingivitis or a periodontal disease. And eventually you can lose your tooth just because, just because of the bone loss. So it is very important to get a professional cleaning done at least twice a year. Have you ever noticed calculus develop quickly on our lower interiors toward tongue side? Because those areas we often forget to brush properly and we have salivary glands there when they combine with the plaque they change into a tartar. Dental calculus creates stains on teeth usually along the gum line. That's a spot that we usually miss during brushing. Even if you don't see any sign of calculus but it's worth visiting the dentist every six months to stay on the top of your dental health. I'm having a dream not having a plaque in our mouth, so please brush your teeth at least twice a day and floss once in a day. Now I'm going to summarize all the information. The plaque, which is colorless, versus calculus, which is visible in our mouth. Plaque, which is soft, versus calculus, which is hard. So the plaque, we can remove by brushing and flossing regularly. Versus calculus, we cannot remove by brushing and flossing. We only dental professional can remove, which is hygienist or dentist. Plaque can cause irritation or inflammation versus calculus can cause gingivitis, periodontal disease or other severe oral disease. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, like and share with your friends so they will also know what's the difference between plaque versus calculus. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the latest videos.